Last night, Headley announced it would be taking an indefinite hiatus after the completion of their cross country tour following weeks of mounting sexual misconduct allegations involving fans. Tonight, the pop rock band is inside this building here in Brampton taking the stage, and it could be one of their final concerts ever. And their fans showed up supportive as ever. I just want them to know that I stand by them no matter what. No matter what happens, I'll still be a fan. Um, you're innocent until proven guilty, so. You know, there is a lot of not politically correct business that goes on in the music industry um, and in a lot of industries. Um, but why Headley? Why just Headley? Like, <laughs> why now? Fans lined up early this afternoon outside the Powerade Centre in Brampton for a chance to get a one on one with the band. How was the mood inside as the band greeted the fans? Oh, people are going crazy still. Yeah, it's very, it's awesome. Yeah. Does it seem like any of the recent events had an impact? Um, it that? seems like nothing's happened, everything's normal. So it's a great atmosphere out there. The band took the stage inside the Power Center Arena, which seats 5,000. Two statements were released Wednesday night, one from the band and the other specifically from member Jacob Hogart. The 33-year-old frontman has always maintained that he has never engaged in non-consensual sexual behavior, but admits in the last 13 years he has acted in a way that objectified women. Part of a statement read, it's time for me to change. I've decided to step away from my career indefinitely. I will honor my commitments to this tour, then will be taking a serious step back in order to make real changes in my life, seek guidance from family, and continue to grow and learn from the amazing women in my life. I think it's a shame that he's, you know, it's come down to this. Um, they've been going for a long time. Um, they've been up there, and all of a sudden, it's taken away from them. It's not really fair. Following the public allegations, the BC-based band was almost immediately dropped by its management. Its music has also been pulled off air on many radio stations and the group backed out of the Junos. The band saying they've been forced to take a long, hard look in the mirror, adding no excuses will be made and apologizing to anyone who was, in their words, negatively affected by their behavior. The band is on a 15-city tour throughout Canada. That will be wrapping up on March 23rd in Kelowna, B.C. In Brampton, I'm Faiza Amin for City News.